essentially, I mean, I guess I'm not putting words into people's mouths because it's kind of pretty obvious what's going on, but Hank comes back and tells Karen that he, in fact, slept with Mia, who was my soon-to-be nearly stepdaughter, my first boyfriend's daughter. Should I say that? Bill's daughter. And um, in the pilot, in fact, Hank had, uh, had um, yes, well, he'd done the unforgivable, and he'd slept with an underage girl. Yeah, of course he didn't know she was underage, and she was very predatory. And of course he's innocent, and none of it is his fault. Um, but anyway, he came back and told Karen, and obviously she freaked out, and her world kind of fell apart. And uh, that's how we left it at the end of last season. First, Karen does not respond very positively to Hank's advances after he has revealed that he slept with Mia. Um, and worse than that, he kept it from her for, you know, ye like a couple of years. Um, and they were building a life together on that kind of like very, you know, not very solid ground. So, um, yeah, I think she feels obviously incredibly betrayed. I think it's a lot for Rebecca to deal with because she's not only dealing with her own issues and, you know, realizing that, <laughs> like, I guess she's realized this for a long time, but how, how flawed her parents really are. Um, but also, uh, she's trying to find her own you know, role and place in the world, and it's incredibly difficult when you have parents who are acting out and there's no stability. Carla Gugino joined us, and she plays this very, you know, ball-breaking, but not in a cliched way. I mean, there's so many different colors and so many different layers to her and to Tom, the way Tom's written this role. She, she's not your kind of, like, classic... Uh, ball-breaking lawyer. She's got a lot more color and, and uh, tone, if you like, than than. Uh, and and I love that that Tom manages to fit in in a 25-minute episode or a, you know script. Yeah, I mean, the extremes, the kind of uh, spectrum that you you go you go through in in these 25 minutes of incredible comedy. I mean, you know, sort of farce almost, and then you get to something very, very soulful and, and true and, and moving and uh, to, to sublime to the ridiculous. I mean, the whole gamut and, yeah. <laughs>